You have to trust me on this. I am tired of picking up after you and Vicky. I am not going to do it anymore. My attorney will contact you, Jake. Yes, Zach. Today, if it's convenient. Well, because I'm going away. Yeah, I don't have the peace insured yet. I, I'm a little worried about... Yeah, okay, I'll hope. Uh, no, this evening is fine. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't want anything to happen to the Red Swan. This is all stolen art. How could you, of all people, expect me to get involved in something like this? I mean, talk about hot. This piece was stolen two weeks ago. Did you do it? Well, are you going to offer me some sort of an explanation? You gave yourself a lap head start. I just decided to give you a challenge. You just wanted to win, didn't you? Yeah, well, I'm sorry. It's a compulsion. I've noticed. It's your fault, you know. My fault? Yes. <laughs> Seems like whenever I'm with you, winning becomes the most important thing in the world. Everything else just seems to slide away. can't do this, Marley. Not now. We've come this far. This far? We're married. We have a future. I love you. I shouldn't have gotten back with you last summer, Jake. Marley, this thing with Vicky is over. Our problems are between us. It happened one time. I thought I was Jake, never going to see you again. you are not to me. It is not just the fact that you were unfaithful. We just weren't meant to be. Marley, listen to me. We can work this out. When we got married... We were young, and we had a lot of dreams. We can still have those dreams. And what we dreams. ignored was the fact that we are two very different people. What, because of money? No. What? Maybe trying to have a child was us trying to hold our marriage together. Don't talk like that. You're my wife. I love Jake, you. Jake, I don't know who I am anymore. What is that supposed to mean? I know who I used to be. I was your wife, Vicky's sister, the one in the middle. The good one, always willing to forgive and forget. But that's over now, Jake. Don't say that! I am going to find out who I really am now. Marley, listen to me. Come home. This will be all right. I will work this out, okay? No, Jake. I was just trying to explain to Jake. Explain what? Why I'm leaving tonight. My attorney told me you wanted to talk to me. You can change your mind if you like. I don't like any of this. Well, usually there aren't too many happy people at a custody hearing. Let's get started. Oh, this is just like Jamie having his ex fiance do all his dirty work for him. Firstly, it's not dirty work. It's a gathering of information. Uh, and secondly, it's a professional matter. Oh, really? I didn't realize that taking someone's child away from them was a professional thing to do. A father has rights. Yes, well, once he meets up with my lawyer in the courtroom, he'll rethink his rights. We'll see. I love it. Ms. Cool. We'll see. Stacy, have you checked out Kenneth Martin's track record? Yes, I'm aware of it. But I wouldn't count too heavily on it if I were you. Why is that? Because the court case has been moved up to next week. 
What are you talking about? My lawyer is going to be out of town next week. Well, then may I suggest you get another attorney? Who made this decision? The judge. When? Well, I got a call this morning. I'm surprised you haven't heard. They're probably trying to contact your attorney first. <sighs> I don't believe this. You will. You did this, Stacy. You made this happen. As a matter of fact, yes, we did push for an earlier court date. Drive the old Koi steamroller right over Vicky one more time, huh? You let us know one hour before the temporary custody hearings. You set the tone for these proceedings, oh, Vicky. You're incredible. You haven't gotten over Jamie, and now you're trying to show him how you can make him happy, huh? It was Jamie's idea to have this hearing moved up. He thought this up? Yes. Obviously, living with you taught him a thing or two. Michael, this doesn't make sense. For now, it's not supposed to. What are you doing with all this artwork? I need your help. To do what? And I'm willing to make it worth your while. Michael, these pieces are stolen art. I'm not asking you to fence stolen art. Well, then what are you asking? As a matter of fact, these pieces aren't really stolen. They're more like borrowed for a while. <laughs> and this piece came from your apartment. Well, that's just my point. I never did like that vase. Oh. You want to count it? Are you bribing me? Call it an incentive. To do what? I want you to offer this stuff to Lucas. Lucas? Just to see if he's interested. <laughs> you too. What? Oh, nothing. It's, uh... Michael, the man reads the newspaper, and he's going to know that it's stolen. Of course he will. Well, then what? See if he makes you an offer. These are uh, pictures I had Mitch take of the piece. And Matt sent it to you from Maine. You no, know, it was the last thing he sent me before he died. I, it meant so much to me. I wanted to keep it close by, you know, at the house. But I, I didn't even think of having it insured. Well, we'll have it appraised as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, should we call you um, and then, well, no. when it's ready to be picked up? I'll bring it myself. Oh, you don't have to. No, it's all. Uh, Derek, I'll be right with you, OK? No problem. Look, don't worry about it, Rachel. It'll be safe here until Caroline can give me the figures to give to the insurance company. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Good to see you again, Zach. Bye. So long. Take care. Yeah. Stacy, you're in? Uh, no, but she should be back soon. Uh, maybe you can uh, have more luck with her than I did. With what? Well, the woman's working herself to death. I mean, I can't even get her to stop and eat. Doing what? Jamie's case? Uh, well, yeah. Um, yeah, they moved it up on the court calendar, and, um, well, I don't want to go into the details. And she's really knocking herself out for Jamie, huh? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, we sometimes get wrapped up with our clients, especially when, uh, trial dates are set, and, uh, well, we kind of just forget about everything else. Right. Yeah, she was like that with me when Fanny was on trial. Antique. What? Now, this piece was done in the late 1880s. You can tell by the windspread. Hmm. Well, I didn't realize you knew that much about art. I read. I like museums. They're quiet. Well, sounds like you've seen this piece before. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure. Probably just in an art book or something. Well, this is the last look you'll see of it before it gets appraised. Caroline Stafford's doing that? Uh, yeah, she's gonna be over later. I'm gonna notarize her estimate, and, uh, then the insurance people won't have to send, um, their own man over. Yeah. 